Welcome everybody at the World Port Hackathon 2016 at our final talk of the day. My name is Dora van Dijfmode, a journalist from Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Welcome Desmond Tai from the Port of Singapore. Thank you for inviting us. You're welcome. When did the uh, collaboration between Singapore and Rotterdam start? We started a conversation around end of the year last year, talking about the collaboration on our events seeing similarities of what we have in Singapore and what, we, what you are doing, what you guys are doing in Rotterdam here. Are there similarities? Um, well, both are very busy ports of call. Um, we are both located at different points of trade. Singapore is serving the uh, east-west trade route to China, one of the um, biggest uh, trader and ports in the world. In Rotterdam, we are serving um, many, uh, many countries through the Port of Rotterdam here. So we see ourselves as uh, not competitors, but partners in many uh, areas. That's the reason why um, a memorandum of understanding was signed between the Port of Rotterdam and MPA um, last year to focus on areas of innovation, to focus on areas of research and technology, which is one of the main strengths of Port of Rotterdam. We see similarities on what we can learn from each other and collaborate and work together on yeah. many of the issues on an international platform. And is this your first time in Rotterdam? You just uh, told me. What did you uh, notice being here? Um, I see lots of creative people. I see a lot of people with lots of energy um, putting up creative ideas, uh, not being afraid to challenge um, the way of things being done currently. I think that's great for the industry and that's great for Port Rotterdam and for the Port of Singapore. And yeah, it's interesting that you say that because um, I assume you go back uh, tomorrow again or tonight to Singapore? Yeah, I'll be back. I'll yeah, be back. what is the one thing that you bring from here, the thought of the uh, maybe the collaboration or something new that you bring back to Singapore? I think what we can bring, what I can bring back to Singapore is how can we look to further strengthen this collaboration that we have started, take a small step forward from here, and how can we strengthen that collaboration for next year's event. I think Port of Rotterdam has indicated their interest and to partner with us for next year's event, and we will also be interested to partner with Port of Rotterdam in Rotterdam here itself. To, we hope to use this platform as a channel where both uh, our people can communicate with each other to explore opportunities on both sides itself and also to strengthen deepen the relationship with Port Rotterdam. And what are the biggest opportunities? I think the biggest opportunities here I would see are for how we can have a shared vision of innovation, how the way things can be done better how, um, how things can be, um, information can be shared, collaboration on the same platform to enhance the competitive advantage of each other. As mentioned, we are not competitors because we serve different parts of the world, but we are partners itself. So being a partner, we share information, we help each other. So we, we hope to use this platform as a way to work with Port Rotterdam in a way Port Rotterdam can enhance our position and we hope we can help Port Rotterdam mm -hmm. enhance their position as well. I saw that you also are one of the challengers Yes. and the Singapore challenge is the advanced information coordination between suppliers and lighters. Have you already uh, seen uh, the guys and girls working on the challenge downstairs? Yes, I've been speaking with a team or two working on our challenge and uh, understanding the helping them to understand the uniqueness of our challenge however Port Rotterdam faces uh, similar issues unlike Singapore even though the context of operation might be different so my encouragement to the teams here will be look beyond the context of Singapore and see similarities on how platforms can be used or ideas that can be used in both areas or in many other areas of the world 
So expand your horizons. Singapore might have you is unique in a way due to our geog 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 geography. So we have challenges that we need to face. So unlike Port Rotterdam, which do not have those challenges, but they face similar problems, which is similar to our challenges. Yeah, what do you hope to see when they're done? Um, I'm already seeing some of the teams on what they put in. I think I'm already seeing the effort and I'm already seeing the thoughts they put into understanding how they can share their ideas with, um, with me. So at the end of the day, I see that it's going to be beneficial for the port itself to have this group of uh, technology people exploring and enhancing operations, helping people to do things much better and improve, improve the business in both, in both our ports. Yeah. And why did, you, why did you choose this challenge in particular? Now, this challenge is particularly unique to us in the sense that um, not all ships that call the Port of Singapore uh, perform cargo works itself. So, being in the middle of the east-west route, most of the ships stop by Singapore for supplies, food, machinery, spare parts. At, at any one point of the time, we have a thousand ships in our port waters, so it's very congested. It is uh, very important for us to ensure that we serve these ships quickly so that they can move along to their next port of call so it does not congest our port waters because it, it relates to safety and security of our waters. Because our waters are not only shared by businesses but also shared for leisure purposes as well. And where lay the biggest opportunities in Singapore regarding this challenge? Um, the biggest opportunity will be how can we help businesses or this, the different stakeholders in our challenge manage their resources, manage productivity better. So it looks at problem statements such as improving productivity, improving scheduling, improving resources, having clarity of delivery schedules, clarity of um, uh, delivery of goods, clarity to the ships itself, clarity to the uh, ship managers and owners of have en ensuring that the goods are delivered to the ships. So these are the opportunities that we think is possible and viable. When will, uh, will there be a day that the hackathon, the World Port Hackathon will be in Singapore? Uh, we will be collaborating with uh, Port Rotterdam on another platform that we hope to evolve. Um, we, are in the pro we are in the process of defining the events itself and we will share with Port Rotterdam when the details are firm up. Okay, okay. I'm looking forward to it. I think a lot of uh, interesting thoughts uh, uh, can happen from that and I think it's already wonderful that there are a lot of people from Singapore here. Thank but you. Because you didn't arrive alone, I saw yes. uh, a lot of competitors as well. Yes, we came with a group of um, 10 people. They are mainly, uh, the first group is mainly from uh, a university, our Institute of Higher Learning. There are a group of researchers uh, working with us, uh, researching on um, what we can do with our next generation port 2030, unique to the areas of Singapore. We have our next group of people, which is on our port operator, PSA Singapore. They have been participating in our hackathons in the last two runs, and these are very good, uh, technical, technically apt people. And they were willing to accept the challenge and come forth and share their ideas with Port Rotterdam. Our last group of people is actually a maritime startup who, upon knowing the event, applied to come on their own. Wow. So I think there is interest. There is this interest in such an event around in Singapore. And we hoped when our event is launched next year, we can get a good interest from the Port of Rotterdam, the students, the professionals, to come and join us at our event. Yeah. 
I think everybody is ready to go on the plane and uh, go to Singapore. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's one type from Singapore. Thank you all for watching. This was our final interview. See you next year at World Court Hackathon 2017. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.